The Call of Duty Blackout Beta came to an end on September 17th, and I must admit, I'm really missing it. I only really jumped on and played for the last day, day and a half, but what I saw got me very excited. It wasn't all fun and games though, and I think there's a lot of things which could be improved. But first off, what made the beta so enjoyable for me? Well, th the biggest thing I could think of was that it just genuinely felt from head to toe that it was made for first person. Like, it, it really felt like the first BR made by a AAA studio, and I know Epic is, but I don't really feel like Fortnite counts, especially because I don't have a first person mode. Second off, the game was just super smooth. When I played, I don't remember any lag or FPS drops or anything like that, and every time I shot and hit something, the hit reg seemed on point. I felt like it was fair when I won and when I lost firefights, so there wasn't really any complaints for me in that area either. The loot system as well was fantastic, not the inventory system, mind you, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but the loot system I really enjoyed. The biggest difference between this and PUBG, for example, is that everything is pretty much for everything, apart from the sniper scope, which you could find. But extended or quick mags, barrels, grips, sights, etc. Everything you picked up, you could put on a shotgun, you could put on an AR, you could put on an SMG. And I really like that you didn't have to scour the map to find attachments for a very specific gun which you may have in your arsenal. The healing system as well, I was very, very happy with, mainly because it allowed you to stay on the move. Like, you didn't have to sit down and hide or wait in a corner while you were healing up before you could get back in the fight like you do in PUBG. By being able to heal and move at the same time, it kept the pace of the game and also gave you more options in firefights. You could decide to either heal where you were, move to a location and then heal, or get up and run and heal but not being able to shoot back, and I, and I really liked it gave you that decision to choose. The other big positive I got from playing in the beta was being able to be in third person when driving. It, it made surveying the area or making the decisions while you were on the move really, really nice. It's something which I have talked a bit about in PUBG, and, and it is a feature I'd like. If you're playing in first person, only being in first person when you're in vehicles is a little bit annoying because you, you've got a lot of the vehicle in the way blocking your vision. Like, I, I, get, I guess, you know, it is supposed to just be the first person experience, but at the same time, I feel like there are times where you can make allowances and being in vehicles is one of those times for me. And now the cons. First off, view Bob. I couldn't figure out how to turn it off. And this was the same in COD World War 2 as well. I've been through the menus dozens of times, both in Blackout and World War II, and I just can't find an option to turn off Bob. So if you know how to disable Bob, please do let me know, because it drives me crazy. Next up, weapon switching. Every time you pick up a new gun off the floor, it swaps you to that gun. And it was just so annoying. It got me killed multiple times. I just find it very unnecessary to force you to switch to the weapon that you're picking up. I like that you pick it up. It already had bullets in it, so you don't have to reload like you do in PUBG. That was very nice. But just, yeah, taking your primary weapon away and giving you the weapon that you're picking up, it's just annoying, unwarranted, and just completely unnecessary. Having it as a toggleable option, sure, definitely, but forcing you into it is not something I'm happy about. Sliding as well was something which I felt was quite an inconvenience as opposed to a positive. It's probably something that you get used to. Like if you're sprinting and you press crouch, I think it was, then it would make you go into this slide. And I understand that it's there and it's probably something I get used to, but I found it very clunky and often I'd like run to get behind something for cover and then I'd end up sliding behind and past the thing I wanted to get to for cover and I ended up getting shot and or killed. Now the loot system, like I said earlier, was very good, but the inventory system I found very clunky and slow. You couldn't really click around it and, and it didn't do what you would expect it to do, which may be just because I've been trained from PUBG that I'd expect the UI to work in a certain way. But I do think that there was probably elements that I was experiencing purely just because I wasn't used to the system. And after putting in more hours of playtime and, and, and using it, I feel like I would get more efficient. But at the same time, I don't think it's great if you need to use a system for a while to get used to it and to get fast at it. I think that good UI these days it needs to be very intuitive and something which you can pick up super easy, super quickly. The way weapon attachments as well worked, I feel like it's the kind of thing where if you're used to it, then you could do it very quickly. But for me, running around, having my primary gun out and then finding something I want to put on my secondary, 
It was annoying having to swap to my secondary to then pick it up so it went straight on my weapon. And it was also quite slow and clunky picking it up just to go in my inventory to then put on my gun at a later time. Often I'd forget and it would just sit there and, and just take up space. So I feel like, again, this is probably something that once you put some hours in and you get used to the system, it will make it, you know, second nature. But for now, anyway, it wasn't that kind of experience for me. And the last main negative point is that it's just not out yet. Man, like, I genuinely really enjoyed the beta and I can't wait for the full release. I'm going to be picking it up, playing it day one and just putting a reasonable amount of time into it, I would say. A reasonable amount of time. But something I feel like is very definitive from my experience and playing in the beta is going back to PUBG. It really makes PUBG first person feel like it's a super beta or possibly even alpha experience it's so slow and clunky compared and yeah I don't know maybe it's from all the years of playing COD 4 but I just I just love the way the guns and weapon system work in the Call of Duty franchise I don't know any other better way to say it but it, it for me anyway yeah it, it it made Fortnite and PUBG feel much more beta than than this game was purely down to how the, uh, the gunplay was. So all in all, I'm really excited for the full game to release. It's not too long away now, actually. It's a little over two weeks, so not that long to wait at all. It was great to see Treyarch's take on Battle Royale, and it was an absolute pleasure to play in the beta. So thank you very much, Paul, for hooking me up with a code. I think there certainly are areas beyond the list I've given you which could be improved, but I felt that they were too small to raise in this video. But we'll just have to wait and see what does get tweaked for the full release. At this point in time, I'm not expecting any changes at all. So anything which does get a once over will be a pleasant surprise. I'm also kind of taking my experience with a pinch of salt because I was so excited for COD World War 2 to come out as well. I put a lot of time into that in the first couple of weeks of its release and then I just fell back to playing PUBG. So we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. I think the main reason why I stopped playing World War 2 was at that point there wasn't a rank system. There is a rank system now but I tried to play it the other day and I was in queue for 20 minutes and only one person joined the lobby so it's not really thriving but I hope that Blackout will be thriving and I hope that Blackout will have extra integrations too like PUBG has got Face It now. I've not jumped in and played that but it's something which I do intend to do and I hope that COD Blackout does go down a similar route because it would be great to see this get popular, have a big following and have the servers be super full tons of the time. And for some reason my voice now is getting super croaky so I'm going to leave that for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I apologize it's been a few days since my last upload but that's because I've been working on my studio and I'm happy to say that it is pretty much finished now so I cannot wait to get some more content out filmed in here. It's gonna be great. So until next time, thank you very much. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I'll see you soon. Stay fresh.